When storing your recreational vehicle at the end of the RV season in an unheated environment, it will be necessary to winterize the water system. Damage to water system components will result if the proper winterization steps are not taken. There are two ways to winterize your RV. You can use the compressed air method or the RV antifreeze only method. Let's talk about compressed air first. Start by draining the fresh water tank and water lines using the low point drain valves. Next, empty the wastewater holding tanks. Now, turn the water heater bypass valves to the bypass position. These valves are located near the water heater incoming lines at the rear of the water heater. Depending on RV model, the location of the water heater varies and may be found in a base cabinet in the kitchen or bedroom or behind a pass-through compartment wall. It may be necessary to remove an access panel or vent to reach the bypass valves. Okay, go ahead now and drain the water heater. A quick note though, if you have a water filtering system installed, remove the filter from the assembly, discard, and then connect a bypass line. You'll need to purchase a new filter and install it when dewinterizing your unit. Now open all faucets, including shower head sprayer if applicable, the toilet flushing device, and any other water lines that are closed. Turn on the water pump for at least 30 seconds to clear any water from the lines. Here comes the compressed air part. Connect an air hose with an adapter or blowout plug to the city water fill connection. If your RV contains a separate winterization inlet, connect to that. If your model contains valves that must be set to perform various operations, place the valves to the winterized position. Be sure your compressed air pressure is less than 30 pounds per square inch and blow out the water lines. Keep blowing until no water can be seen coming out of the fixtures and lines. Now you'll want to grab some RV antifreeze and pour it into drains, P-traps, toilet, and tanks. And you're done! Now let's talk about using antifreeze only. This is important. Purchase three to four gallons of RV approved non-toxic antifreeze only. Automotive antifreeze is poisonous and not for use in RV water systems. Okay, drain all tanks, fresh water and sewage tanks and turn the water heater bypass valves to the bypass position so as not to allow antifreeze into the water heater tank. Go ahead now and also drain the water heater. If you have a water filter system installed, remove the filter from the assembly and discard. You'll need to purchase a new one and install it when dewinterizing your unit. For winterizing, connect the hose supplied with the unit to the city water connection inlet. If your RV has a separate winterization inlet, connect to that. Some models contain valves that must be set to perform various operations. For these models, place the valves to the winterized position. Make sure the connection is tight with proper seals. Put the end of the hose into the container of antifreeze. If your RV doesn't have a winterization inlet that uses the system's water pump to draw the antifreeze out of the container and into the RV, use an external pump. Open the faucets one at a time and leave them open until the antifreeze, generally pink in color, flows out of the faucets. Flush the toilet until antifreeze is visible inside the bowl and pour one gallon of antifreeze down the toilet to winterize the black water holding tank. You'll also need to pour antifreeze down each shower or tub, lavatory sink, and kitchen sink to fill P-traps and winterize the gray water tank. 